Number one, Sugar Man's Delight is in. Trying to give Willick and Tavares their second winner on the card. Number two is Albert. Trying to give Cassandra Jeske her second one of the afternoon. Number three, Isa Speedy Simon. Trying to give jockey Tony Phillips his second one of the afternoon. Number four, Selective Memory. Number six is Runaway Cause, trying to give jockey Corey Spataro his second winner on the card. And last but not least, number five, shooting sixes for jockey Ramiro Sanchez Castillo, also trying to win his second race of the afternoon. They're at the post, and they're off. Quickest was Albert in the center of the track. Selective memory second between horses. Eyes of Speedy Simon. Albert, the one in front, and is going nicely for Jeske. Runaway cause yet to find her best stride. And Albert and Cassandra Jeske. Runaway cause from the outside, but to no avail. Albert wins it. Runaway cause second. It looks like Eyes of Speedy Simon will complete the triactor. The unofficial winner of the sixth race was number two, Albert. Second was number six, Runaway Cause. Third, number four, Selective Memory. And fourth, number one, Sugar Man's Delight.
Of the sixth race are now official. The winner is number two, Albert. Four-year-old Gray Gelding by Mr. Jess Tex got a squinch eyes by Mr. Eye Opener. Both owned, trained, and bred by Scott Reed. Albert was ridden to victory by jockey Cassandra Jeske. That's back-to-back -back winners for Cassandra Jeske. Albert winning the distance with a time of 17.84 seconds, carrying a speed index of 93. Second number six, Runaway Cause. Third number four, Selective Memory. And fourth number one, Sugar Man's Delight. Here now are the total results of the sixth race from top to bottom in your programs. Number one, Sugar Man's Delight finished fourth with a time of 18.02 seconds. Number two, Albert the race winner with a time of 17.84 seconds. Number three, Isa Speedy Simon was sixth with a time of 18.12 seconds. Number four, Selective Memory was third with a time of 18.01 seconds. Number five, Shootin' Sixes finished fifth with a time of 18.08 seconds. And number six, Runaway Cause was second with a time of 17.93 seconds. Rechecking from top to bottom, order of finish in your program should read 416-352. Those are the total results of the sixth race. Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes our day of live racing here at Ajax Downs until this coming Sunday with first race post time at 12.55. Until then, this is Frank Ferrari wishing everyone a safe drive home. We're back again with winning jockey Cassandra Jeske, your second win of the day, second in succession. And uh, this is Albert. I mean, Albert, a four-year-old, that is his sixth career win. And Cassandra, I was talking about him earlier coming off the 110-yard race, the gridiron gallop, stretching out today. I, I was pretty sure he was going to break on top. I guess you were too. Did you think that he was going to lead all the way? No, I'm not going to lie. I was holding on, <laughs> Go, just trying to get to the finish line. Well, it was a good field. I mean, Runaway Cause is a tough gray mare. Uh, there was lots of closers shooting sixes, and they were coming. But, boy, he looks like a pretty happy camper right now. He is. He, he knows his job, and he knows when he gets his picture taken, and he's going for grass later. <laughs> Well, that's great. Well, you're going to go for some grass, too, now, I think. And uh, yeah. and we'll see everybody back on Sunday for racing. And don't forget, uh, Labor Day weekend, we're racing Sunday and Monday. Uh, come on and cheer. We only have about 11 racing days to go. We'll see you next time.